Hello friends, welcome to my channel Healthy World. Today I will speak about mental retardation. Mental retardation refers to below average general intellectual functioning that originates during the development period and is associated with impairment in adaptive behavior. Intellectual functioning means mental ability of thinking, problem solving, planning and reasoning. It is a serious intellectual disability. Parenting a child with mental retardation is very difficult task as a lot of stress, frustration, and hopelessness is experienced. Main characteristics of mental retardation is impaired intellectual, adaptive functioning and IQ less than 70. Incomplete development of brain leads to mental retardation. Some of the causes are, genetic conditions such as Down syndrome, problem during pregnancy, problem during childbirth, illness, or injury. The main reason for mental retardation is, hereditary and environmental elements. Diagnosis is highly dependent on personal, family, and medical history. Mental retardation is classified on the basis of intelligence quotient. Mild MR, IQ 50 to 70. Moderate MR, 35 to 50. Severe MR, 20 to 35. And profound MR, below 20. Some of the symptoms of MR are rolling over, sitting up, crawling, or walking late, talking late or having trouble with talking, slow to master things such as toilet training, difficulty in remembering, difficulty in problem solving and logical thinking. For early identification, first and most important step in the diagnosis is personal history of patient and her family. Previous gynecologic and obstetrics history of infertility or fetal loss should be identified. Maternal health status during pregnancy with involved child should be asked. Questions regarding lifestyle and consumption of tobacco, alcohol, drugs, and other risk factors should be asked. National Institute of Mental Health, in 1998 developed systemic method of identification and screening of mentally retarded children. Prenatal procedure of identification. Blood test, for detecting anemia, syphilis, and neural tube defect. Ultrasonography, done in second trimester of pregnancy for detecting certain disorders such as hydrocephaly, or microcephaly. Phoetoscopy, done in second trimester of pregnancy for diagnosing physical anomalies, or metabolic disorder. Perinatal procedure of identification. Perinatal infections has long-term cognitive effects. Such as infections caused by neonatal human simplex virus or group B streptococcus. Human simplex virus has long-term impairments such as mental retardation. Group B streptococcus cause meningitis, which is a neurosensory impairment. Low birth weight and preterm birth also increase the risk of having MR. Postnatal identification. Exposure of child to contaminated environments such as lead, can lead to neurological damage. A severe accident that lead to head injury, can also impair cognition. Measures should be taken at early stages to prevent disability. Prenatal prevention. Avoid hard physical work such as lifting heavy load. Avoid smoking, chewing tobacco, and consumption of alcohol, and drugs. Avoid having sexual contact with people having venerable disease. All pregnant women should take tetanus injection and attain regular medical checkup. Perinatal or natal prevention. Delivery should take place in hospital. If baby doesn't cry immediately, resuscitation measures should be taken at once. Low birth weight babies should be kept in neonatal care. Breastfeeding should be started immediately after birth. Postpartum prevention. Every child should be immunized. Ensure that the mother and child gets a well-balanced diet and clean drinking water. Don't allow patient to have direct contact with paint, lead, newspaper, etc. Conclusion. Mental retardation is a genetic disorder manifested significantly below average overall intellectual functioning and deficit in adaptive behavior. Various environmental, or hereditary elements can lead to mental retardation. All precautions should be taken. Mothers should prevent themselves from consumption of alcohol, tobacco or other harmful substances, and should avoid sexual contact with person having venerable disease. There is a very little chance of having mental retardation because of accidents. Thank you friends, 
Hope you understood the topic.